Hey y'all, it's me Trish. I am the Witch of the Dismal Swamp. How's everybody doing? All right, all right. Now, this is a video to show y'all some different essential oils that you can use for headaches, okay? I mean, I'm sure y'all know that there's different types of headaches. They like tension headaches, stress headaches, migraines, hormonal headaches, I mean, they say there's dehydration headaches, and then you got your just because headaches, okay? Now, I wanted to make this video because I have one every single day, and ever since I had my brain bleed, the subnoid, subnoid acnoid hemorrhage, I can't, I know I said that wrong, but whatever. In other words, I had four bleeds in the back of my brain, and since then, I have headaches every day. Now... You know, some days they're like really like throw up kind of headaches. And then most of the time it, they're just, you know, they're there. So and that's one reason why I decided to start looking this up. Now, I went online and did my little homework and research or whatever you want to call it. And this is what I come up with. Okay, if you have a tension headache, the best thing to use is peppermint. Okay. Peppermint is good for tension headaches. What you're going to do is add 10 drops of this to one ounce of some type of carrier oil. Now, it could be almond, jojoba, grapeseed, you know, whatever coconut, whatever oil, carrier oil you want to use. And then what you're going to do is you're going to massage this into your neck and your shoulders. And that will help with your tension headache. Now, the next one would be a stress headache. That one they call for lavender, frankincense, neroli, or some type of citrus. And what you're going to do is you're going to inhaling essential oils can help relieve that stress and fat, uh, foster calm. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you relieve that stress. And what you're going to do, you can add it to a diffuser or, again, carrier oil to your um essential oils now it does not tell you the amounts that they used in this study so i can't give you that i guess you can just wing it and go by what you feel but make sure you use this with a carrier oil and again you're going to massage it on your neck and your shoulders to help relieve that stress now migraines the only thing they show on that is lavender. That seems to be the oil for headaches. Because that's mentioned in a lot of the studying. And the only thing they tell you to do with this when you have a migraine is put some in your hand, rub your hands together, and just smell it on your hands for 15 minutes. Wait 30 minutes and then repeat. You know, if your headache hasn't gotten better, put 15 more minutes of smelling lavender. And that's according to a 2012 study, you know, 2012 study. And then they say you can also add one drop of this lavender to um, an un a tablespoon of unscented face cream. Mix it together and massage your face with it. You can, you can do that as well. And now we're going to hormonal headaches. That they suggest geranium. Okay. Geranium. Okay. Fluctuating hormonal levels, especially a dip in estrogen right before or after periods. Geranium on the abdomen. You're going to add one drop of teaspoon and you're going to add one drop to a teaspoon of carrier oil. And you're going to massage it into your abdomen in a circular motion. Okay? That's what you can do to help with the hormonal headache. Also, you can add it in your bath by adding five to eight drops of your geranium to a tablespoon of carrier oil. Mix it together and put it in your bath. Okay, now next one is dehydration headache. I hope y'all are uh, 
I hope y'all don't mind me, you know, doing these kind of videos, but I know people, you know, life is life, you know what I mean? And, and I know I would appreciate if somebody puts videos up like this because then, hey, when you get that headache, you know what to run to. Because I personally don't like taking a lot of meds. And if I can get away with taking Tylenol every four hours then and just use this, then why not? All right, anyway, that was um, one of them little squirrel moments. <laughs> Dehydration headaches, okay? That is a possibility. If they tell you the first thing to do is to get some water and drink it, okay? First thing to do is drink some water. And then you can take peppermint, orange, and tangerine, okay? Orange, peppermint, and tangerine. And then you will, let's see, peppermint, orange, and tangerine, okay? And then you could take these three essential oils and put them in a bowl of water, get a rag, dip your rag into that water with these essential oils in it, and lay it across your forehead as you drink water because you got to rehydrate yourself and as you're rehydrating yourself you're putting that compress on your head and it will help get rid of your dehydration headache all right next one is a shits and giggles headache this is what i call them anyway it's a no-namer okay because you know we've already named everything else but you know you might just get one just for hell you know what the hell you know well anyway they say no-name headaches use a blend of rosemary, peppermint, and lavender. So you're going to use rosemary, peppermint, and lavender. Somewhere up here is rosemary. Rosemary, peppermint, and lavender. Okay. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to add it to a diffuser and, or make a headache rollerball blend by adding one drop of essen each essential oil to a rollerball jar, which I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this. And fill it with carrier oil. You can use all the rest I already told you. Jojoba, sweet almond, whatever oil, carrier you want to use. And then you will, you know, same thing as usual. Rub it on your neck, your shoulders. If you want to put it on your face and massage your face, you can do that too. Okay? Now, that was... That was all this, okay? <laughs> As you can see, I took notes. The only quick thing I'm going to tell you now is, is I did check into um, researches, and they they found, I'm just going to make the long story short, they found that um, an overwhelming amount of people found that the lavender helped better with getting rid of their headaches than a placebo. Okay, so that is a good sign because the response showed the lavender group was significantly higher than the placebo group. That's what they showed, and that was according to a, um, a study that they did with headaches. Okay, all right, I hope this helped y'all. I hope you understood it. And I know everybody gets headaches, so I thought this would be a good one to share because I get headaches every single day. Okay? All right. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Much love, y'all. Be safe. Toodles.